All right, well, welcome to Pennsylvania once again on another, another scorcher of a day. Maybe not quite 90, but it's still very hot and humid. It looks like we might be getting a break from that here a little bit in the future, hopefully. We are at uh, Shikalemi State Park here today, kind of near the town of uh, Sunbury. And this is, we are actually, I think we're, we're on the west side of the Susquehanna River in Juniata County, I believe right near the border with Snyder County. Just a small state park, but perfect for just a little bit of hiking today. If you watched my previous video, we were driving around a lot following the Tolpahocken Path, an old Indian trail, and it brought us up to Sunbury. So I thought I'd uh, do some hiking here at this state park, Shikalemi. Of course, Shikalemi is the name of an Indian chief who lived up this way, because we talked about that in the previous video. and. There's a cool overlook here, and down below the overlook, there's supposed to be a profile of Chief Shikalemi in the cliffside. We saw that in the other video. I think you can kind of see it. But anyway, you'd have to watch the previous video to, to see that. Anyway, I'm blabbing. So let's, uh, there's a couple of overlooks along here, and there's a trail here called the Deer Trail, which I'm going to hike. So let's, uh, let's get to doing that. Yeah, and here is the first overlook. And wow, you do get a view of the town down there. That's where we just were, over that way somewhere. In my previous video, we ended up at uh, Fort Augusta, the North Umberland County Historical Society. But wow. Actually, I think it was down, more down that way actually, instead of just right across here. That's a beautiful view, even with the town. Beautiful views right off the bat. You can see the boats down the river. Oh yeah, cool, look at that. The old railroad bridge. All right, let's find this trailhead, the deer trail. I know there's more overlooks down along the way here. Quite a bit going on here today too. Lots of young folks here. Looks like they're doing archery and other stuff. All right, let's see what else this park has to offer. It's actually a nice, it's, it's hot, but there's actually a nice breeze blowing up here. So makes it feel a little cooler. So there is a yellow blazed path here, so I guess this is the deer trail. From looking at the maps, it looks like it's just, just a nice short little loop around this park. <laughs> the small park. Let's get away from the screaming kids over there too. That's cool, they're having fun out here. But uh, they're, 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 they're doing like little sponge races and like I said, archery and stuff, so they're having fun. They have water guns too and stuff. Wouldn't mind uh, getting hit by a water gun at the moment, actually. It's hot. And if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know there's another reason why I'm here at Shikalemi State Park. I am trying to get to every state park here in Pennsylvania, big or small, and this is one of them. And if I'm up to it, I'm planning on visiting another one too, about, I don't know, a couple miles to the north of here, Milton State Park. It's another small one. It's another one, another good one to do on a, on a hot day like this. And here's just another really awesome view. I believe that's Route 11 going across there. Pretty cool views though. Well, so far, this is a rather large trail, but we'll see what happens when we get away from these overlooks.
And we are on the correct trail. There's our sign, the deer trail. Yeah, so away from the main observation areas, it does turn into more of a normal trail. Still pretty, still pretty wide though. Kind of has they kind of put this mulch on it. Makes for some, makes for some soft walking. All right, well let's quit yapping so much and uh, let's see if we can find anything critter-wise or some interesting plants. It'll just be a short little hike. Oh, uh, we got a nice uphill section here. That was my concern because further back we were going downhill quite a bit, which is fine, but whenever you're doing like a loop trail, whenever you go downhill, it means you're eventually going to have to go back uphill. But it is what it is. I'm enjoying this section right here. Lots of pine trees. I like my pine trees. Of course, like like I said in other videos, the pine trees carpet the trail with their needles, fallen needles. Makes it nice to walk on. You do hear some road traffic here, but uh, it is what it is. I know I said I use that term a lot, but it just describes lots of situations. Just gotta make do. Enjoy the beauty that's here. I am missing that breeze that was up by the overlooks though. Not quite so breezy down here. It really helped to cool you off. You know, it suck it evaporates the water, the sweat off your face and stuff and cools you off. But we'll survive. <laughs> All right, so we've come to a crossroads. Looks like that's the dry hollow trail. And the deer trail goes <laughs> downhill. But I think we're gonna keep following the deer trail. That was my intention, so here we go. Yeah, and then right back uphill again. All right, I'll turn you off. You don't need to hear me here. You don't need to hear me huffing and puffing to go back uphill. So I've been sitting down, taking a little break, getting some water in me. I noticed there's like a little, some built a little fort up there. Maybe we'll take a look at that before we go. But yeah, it's a. I actually like, I'm actually liking this little trail here, the deer, the deer trail. Yeah. Um, overall, it's been really nice. There's a few, you know, uphills and downhills, but that, that's usually fine. Just on these hotter days, I don't really care for going uphill. Like I said, a lot of it is this pine forest. Like right now, we're sitting in a pine forest. I love to hear the sound of the wind going through the pine trees. And if you don't want to hike the whole trail, like there are little shortcuts, like that dry hollow trail is like a shortcut back to the parking area. And there was another one farther back, but unnamed. So if you don't want to hike the whole the whole trail, you don't have to. But it's not really that long of a trail. Like I said, I don't know how long it is offhand though. All right, break time is over. But let's check out this little area here. Look, they even set up like a little palisade wall here. Not really a palisade, but yeah, a couple of little forts going on here. All right, I'll let them be though. 
not really seeing any critters out right now. Of course, it is midday. It's probably getting close to two o'clock. Most animals are pretty smart and, not, are not, and they're not out during the heat of the day like this unless they have to be. Unlike me, <laughs> hiking. And I believe we're making our way back up to where the overlooks are again. I can kind of see up through the trees. Starting to hear those kids again as well. Some of them are Boy Scouts. I believe I saw one trailer there with Boy Scout troop named on it. So I don't know if there was little forts we saw or from them building, I don't know. Yeah, so there's another split in the trail. There's a little shortcut trail that takes you right to the parking area, but the, the deer trail keeps going this way. So I'm gonna keep going this way. I wanna hike the whole deer trail. Yeah, and here we are back at the main overlooks. I hear a train down there too, so I'm gonna try and see if I can get that train on film, because there was a bridge going across there as well. We'll see. Yeah, we made it in time. Yeah, it should cross that bridge up there. Right there. And just one more look out this way. We get that breeze back again. All right, that will do it for uh, Shikalemi State Park. Um, nice little state park. Even if you just come for those views, it's worth it. Especially if you live local, just come up and hang out a little bit, especially on a cooler day, It'd be worth it. And that deer trail is pretty cool as well. Nice short trail to hike through some nice little piney forests. So I think it is about 2.30. So I have plenty of time to hit up another state park, a small one. I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video, beginning of the video I'm going to drive up to uh, Milton State Park, which might be like just 20 miles away, something like that. So I will see you there, hopefully. I'm going to hop back in a Jeep, get the air conditioner turned off, and uh, cool off a little bit. Although, like I said, up here by the overlooks feels a lot better with this, with this breeze. All right, I'll see you around.